Welcome to China Uncensored. I'm Chris Chappell. Just 100 miles away. That's how close Chinese troops may be getting to the U.S. To put that in context, 100 miles is 900 miles less than the proclaimers are willing to walk just to be the man who walked 1,000 miles to fall down at your door. Only Chinese troops are coming with guns and missiles. This is according to new highly classified U.S. intelligence. Current and former U.S. officials told the Wall Street Journal that China and Cuba are in talks to build a military training facility in Cuba. The U.S. isn't sure how close to a deal China and Cuba are yet. If it goes through, Chinese troops could be permanently stationed just 100 miles off the coast of Florida. Although I'm not sure that scares Florida. I'll get Mickey Mouse to go down there from Disney World, look China dead in the eyes and say, thanks for all the money. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like us to censor for you. According to U.S. officials, the Biden administration is trying to convince the Cuban government not to go through with it. But despite Biden's promises of relentless diplomacy, it seems the administration's pleas have not been very effective. Recently, we covered the revelation that China is building a new spy base in Cuba. China agreed to pay Cuba several billion dollars to do that. The White House initially said those reports were inaccurate. A few days later, they said, actually, China has been operating spy bases in Cuba since 2019, and they have four of them. The White House has also declined to comment on this new military training base, but maybe in a few days they'll come out and say China already has a Death Star built in Cuba. Don't worry, relentless diplomacy is at work. National Security Council spokesman John Kirby said, we made our concerns known. Relentless diplomacy! And this week, Secretary of State Antony Blinken made a trip to China to speak with China's communist dictator Xi Jinping. And one of the things they talked about was Cuba. Here's how Blinken described that Cuba conversation in an interview with CBS. This is um, a, a serious concern for us. We've been taking steps over the past couple of years, diplomatically, wherever we've seen uh, China trying to create that kind of presence. We've been in there pushing back uh, against it, and we've had some success. Oh, wow, some success. I mean, not enough success to actually stop China from building spy bases and now potentially a military training facility, but some success. Wait, I know. Have you tried giving the Chinese Communist Party everything it wants in exchange for nothing? Let's see. Blinken told Xi the U.S. does not support Taiwan independence. And he said we should quit talking about that Chinese spy balloon that traveled across the entire continental United States. Huh. And yet China hasn't caved. Clearly, we need to make more concessions. Onwards with relentless diplomacy. Because as it stands, China continues to expand its military and spy presence around the world. I'll tell you more after the break. Welcome back. China's planned military training base in Cuba, the spy stations, all of that is just the tip of the iceberg. It's all part of what China calls Project 141, an initiative led by the People's Liberation Army to expand its global military base and logistical support network around the world. One of the greatest advantages the U.S. has over communist China, other than relentless diplomacy, is military bases all over the world. Those bases allow the U.S. military to essentially operate anywhere in the world. The U.S. military is kind of like where in the world is Carmen Sandiego if the answer was always everywhere. We first learned about Project 141 thanks to recently leaked Pentagon documents on Discord. The goal of Project 141 is to build a global military network that includes at least five overseas bases and ten logistical support sites by 2030. The Cuba facilities are the first in the Western Hemisphere. And of course, they're right in America's backyard. But included in the leaked document was this image of potential Chinese military bases throughout Africa, Asia, and the Pacific Islands. And if COVID is any indicator, China will say the U.S. is somehow responsible for the global spread of China's military. Officially, China has one military and intelligence gathering base in Djibouti. But many others are secretly underway. Satellite images revealed China has a secret Navy base in Cambodia. And the leaked documents say China is working on a military base in the United Arab Emirates. Many other Chinese bases aren't officially called military bases. But remember, this is China we're talking about. Everything of theirs might be a military base. It's kind of like playing is it cake, but instead of cake, China's building warehouses for future war crimes. 
For example, after China signed a secret security pact with Solomon Islands, the Chinese state-owned company won a contract to develop a major port there. Just like how Imperial Japan used Solomon Islands as a staging ground in World War II. Of course, the Chinese embassy in Washington denied being aware of any deal between China and Cuba. He said the U.S. is an expert at chasing shadows. And those shadows are just being cast from the moon in Cuba. That's no moon. China's foreign ministry spokeswoman Mao Ning said when asked about Cuba, we hope that relevant parties can focus more on things that are conductive to enhancing mutual trust and regional peace and stability development. Mutual trust? Kind of hard when China sails a spy balloon across the entire continental U.S. Sorry, Blinken, I'm not closing that chapter. However, there is still hope that the U.S. won't have Chinese troops at its doorstep. According to a U.S. intelligence official, expanding security coordination between China and Cuba is going to go slowly. That's because even though the U.S. has relentless diplomacy with China, the U.S. can actually do something to Cuba if it acts now. Cuba is in the middle of an economic crisis. There's a record number of Cuban refugees fleeing to the U.S. Cuba wants Washington to ease up on economic sanctions and travel restrictions. The Chinese bases could be their bargaining chip. That's how you do diplomacy. And keep China more than a thousand miles from arriving at your doorstep. Once again, this show would not exist without support from viewers like you. As a thank you to fans who contribute on our exclusive social media platform on chinauncensored.locals.com, I'll answer one of their questions. Today's question comes from Hedginator. I like the West Taiwan concept, but do you think the Republic of China, ROC, should release its claims to Tibet and possibly Xinjiang too? Maybe this is a way to progressively move towards an independent East Taiwan. It is a really warped view of the CCP to consider relinquishing claims to territory it controls as an act of aggression. By the way, are you going to sell mugs again? Ah yes, West Taiwan. Some of the finest merchandise on our merch store, chinaincensored.tv slash merchandise. It's based on the idea that the current People's Republic of China has no more claim to Taiwan than Taiwan has over mainland China. In the 20th century, many people in Taiwan, i.e. the Republic of China, hope to finally retake mainland China from communist forces. But at this point, so much time has gone by and so many things have changed that when the Chinese Communist Party falls, I'm not sure the solution is just for the government of Taiwan to take over. So I think old territorial claims of the Republic of China are essentially historically moot at this point. However, it is a good question. What will happen to regions like Tibet, Mongolia, Xinjiang, Hong Kong, and Macau when the CCP is gone? I think that will have to be a question for the people there in the future when it happens. As for China Uncensored mugs, the problem we had is that most mugs are made in China, and we don't want to sell those. Mugs made elsewhere are hard to find and generally require us to batch order up front, costing us a lot of money that we might not make back. But there's still plenty of other great merchandise on our merch store, so check it out. Link is below. Thanks again for your question and your support, Hedginator. And thank you for watching. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.